So this is just a random video about a long wave transmitter. I'm working on a whole house AM or better long wave transmitter. This is just a random project and we are getting kind of problems with the field strength. Uh, if you turn off the music because of copyright issues. However, we are getting kind of problems with the field strength on long wave. I am working on the output with a 1 to, uh, one to 100 transformer because I'm using a 6 feet long antenna and to get a good field strength on this antenna you need to increase the voltage. And the system is running on 11.9 or 12 volts and it's pulling 80 milliamps from the power supply. And there's quite some current or better power going into the antenna. Although there's going some power into the antenna, the range isn't that good. Uh, as I said, it will cover one house, but I doubt it will go much further. I mean, imagine what wavelength you have on around 220 kilohertz, and I'm using a one meter or six feet long antenna, and I think you can see that there's little mismatch in the antenna length. However, what I want to show you is, as you can see, there is this neon light bulb, and one of the contacts is already broken off the neon light, so there's just one contact connected. As you can see, it's on the antenna, and the voltage that is on the antenna is high enough to light up the neon light bulb, uh, although it's just connected with one leg, no ground connected. If I get close to it with my finger, it gets pretty bright. So that is the voltage that you have on the antenna. On a long wave transmitter, you are having a really high voltage there. And if I'm going with the screwdriver, you might see it. Oh, no, I can't really see it on the camera. Or not really good. If I, I try to get it a little bit darker, and you may see it. So you can really make a small spark gap with the screwdriver, or at least I, I managed it. Or I, I can't see it. I doubt you can see it on camera. Um, I'll try it like this. No, you can't see the sparks. But there are actually really some sparks. being made by this, ah, there was one, I think you could see it, but the, the, the field strength is high enough to make some sparks and also it confuses electronics. So this is a normal radio, I turn it on, as you can see, it's tuned to a radio station and if I just get close to the transmitter, the frequency counter gets crazy and if I hold it close to the antenna, it will even show short wave SV if I get away from the antenna. So if you have a low frequency and you are, you are um, putting the whole power of the low frequency signal in just a short antenna like this, like this uh, six, uh, not six feet, three f uh, how much? Three feet, I'm sorry, three feet wire, it's just one meter, three feet, um, you are getting very high field strength. Um, you can try this. Let's try to make an arc. I think the voltage on the antenna is 800 volts, so even close to one kilovolt. I can't really measure it. Maybe you can see the sparks. Yeah, you can see them. So these sparks are just from the antenna radio frequency. So there's a high voltage already on this small antenna wire. So let's have a listen to the transmitter again. As you can hear, Very good modulation on the transmitter. As I said, it's a prototype. I don't know if I will ever make the full version of this transmitter or if it will stay a prototype forever or whatever. It's nothing special. It's just a timer IC. Timer IC works up to 500 kilohertz, so it's perfectly for the long wave band. And yeah, on the output of my timer IC, I have a class C amplifier with a BC548. It gets modulated by a collector modulator. Don't mind this inductor here, it just works as a, a bridge, wire bridge. It has not really any function in this circuit. And here we have the output transformer with a 1 to 100 output transformer made of two biable coils. And here I'm, I'm using a tuning capacitor wherewith I can match the antenna. And yes, yeah, you can see maybe the 
Now, as you can see, the diffuse strength is high enough if I hold the phase tester close to the circuit. You can already see that even the light of the phase tester is coming on. So we have a really strong field strength around the antenna because of the low frequency and the uh, transformer. And the actual range of the transmitter is probably, I, I really can't say it, 30 feet, 40 feet, maybe 100 feet if it works good. I really can't say it because this small antenna is not really good for long wave. Okay, just a small update, just a small video from me, what I'm doing. Um, okay, best regards, Stefan.